Hello, Nick here, Keith Hockey, here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to splice your coaxial cable. The tools you'll need for this job will be wire cutters, a barrel connector, wire strippers, a compression tool, compression fittings, your RJ6 cable or RJ59 cable, an optional is insulation tape, and a knife which is sharp. That's all I'll show you how to do it the normal way of a knife. You want to go down, down about half an inch. And cut gently through the wire you don't want to cut so hard that you'll go through to the other side as you can see I'm gently rocking the knife backwards and forwards it should just pop off like this okay leaving you the intact strands of wire and what you just do is you just peel these back over the thing I've left these a bit long you should because they're so long they'll pop out on the other side of the compression connector so you just trim them down slightly if you want to what I'm just doing here is I'm just Folding them back, making sure they don't contact the copper wire inside. And just twist them back so they're nice and neat. Once you're happy that the strands are back, I'll cut down a quarter of an inch. Like so, and then just cut through the, the white foam or plastic installation, insulation. Just rock it backwards and forwards again. Make sure you don't cut too deep. You mark the actual copper inside. You do it so you got you're almost all the way through. And then what I do is I grab some wire strippers, grip it slightly, and then pull it off, making sure not to damage the copper inside. Like so. What I'm gonna do now is just use gently use my fingertips of my nails, wipe off any fibers or any strands that are left on the copper making sure we get a nice clear connection. Now it's time to put the compression connector on. What you do is line up with center and then depending, sometimes it can be difficult, this, was, this one was quite easy, just twist it on. Your aim is to get the white insulation inside so it's up flush to the top as you'll see right in a minute. This will make it watertight and waterproof. You know, as you can see, it's flush with the metal inside. But what I tend to do is just cut the remaining copper off. So it's fairly flush with the metal, as you can see. Now it's time to crimp the connector into place. I'll place it in here. You can get many connectors, but this is the one I chose. I'll leave a link in the description. And with a bit of force, you just push down and it crimps into place perfectly. Like so. And as you'll see, this won't come off for anything. Like so. That's nice and secure in there now. As you can see before, I was talking about the strands, they're poking out the other side. Here. Yeah. That's why it's just cut off a little bit. Okay. This is where you put the barrel connector on. If you don't screw it in straight, you'll have trouble like I am here. I just need to cut a little bit off here. Just screwing at each end, making sure they're fairly tight, but not too tight that you damage the copper inside. Want it nice and solid that they won't come apart. No water will get in. As you can see again, I wasn't doing that on straight, so it wasn't going in properly. Should get it fairly flush and straight, it should just screw straight on like so. Yeah, making sure it's fairly tight but not over tightened. That's what it looks like. This is optional, but this is what we did on my installation. My aero, we just taped using insulation tape. Obviously, you do it neat in this, making sure that both the blue ends are covered up as well. It's nice and watertight, and nothing's getting in there. No water or moisture is going to get through there now. 
as well as I think it's aesthetically pleasing as well. It's all black, like so. Quickly, this is how you do it professionally normally. Wide cutters, you've got different gauges, you can use your RJ59 cutters on there. It's just simple as this you line it up with the groove, put a little bit of pressure down, then you spin it one way a few times. And you spin it the other way a few times and then just pull it off. As you can see, you get a nice cut. And this is the final finished product when it's pinned to the outside of the wall. As you can see, everything's covered. Nothing, no water's going to get through. As you can see, it's a fairly simple process. If you've got any questions, leave them down below. I'll try and get back to you within a day sort of thing. If you, this video helped you out, give it a quick like for us. Subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, folks, I'll see you soon.